Well, today we are launching a new series called By the Numbers. That's right. In today's story, we take a look at which businesses have the most liquor, wine, and beer sales in the San Antonio area. So joining us is our GMSA executive producer, Brandon Benavides. He and Mark worked on this together. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. thank you very much for being here today. Now, this is kind of a preview of the story that actually airs at 5. Yes, and we started the preview this morning uh, during GMSA. Mm -hmm. We went by the numbers and we talked about uh, the top three businesses with a uh, with the top wine, liquor, and liquor sales from 2017. How did you come up with the idea for the series? So as you know, we meet every morning. So this this was an idea that we had back in April or during our morning meetings. We were talking in front of. Uh, was it back in April? Wow, uh, it seems like it was a while ago. A while ago. It seems like it was even farther than that. But yeah. yeah. Yep. And so, uh, but it takes time to uh, to get the uh, the information. So we had to make a, a request for a, a freedom of information request uh, to the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission, and we received the numbers, and and that's where we're at now. All right. Well, Mark. Mm -hmm. Why do these numbers matter? Well, I'm not used to being interviewed, so I actually have a few notes I know, here. You, you, oh, gosh, that's Pretty hilarious. meticulous. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so why do these numbers matter? Why are we doing this story? Uh, there's that saying, you have to spend money to make money. Mm -hmm. And I think the JW Marriott Resort is, is, is very much, that's the essence of that. They made a major investment in our community. Mm -hmm. It's a big property, employing lots of people, generating sizable tax revenue. And I think we wanted to show that those investments are paying off, and that trickles down into many segments of our city and state economy. I also should point out that over the last 20 years, Leslie, we've had tremendous growth oh, in yes. San Antonio. There's a whole bunch of people that are new to town, and I think when they watch this piece tonight at 5, they may be surprised uh, how to learn how big the hospitality industry and its role is in our city. Oh, mm -hmm. Very interesting. Now, you mentioned how you got the numbers, but who did you interview? Who did you get information from? We talked to the uh, Texas Association of Restaurants. The Texas Association of Restaurants and the San Antonio uh, chapter of that association, and they really gave us context because we were trying to figure out, okay, what do these numbers mean? And when I talked to them, it was the first time that I heard, this actually means money to the economy, this means uh, jobs, uh, so it, it's just not drinking it, it actually uh, people one in four uh, people in San Antonio work in the service industry so yep. it's, a, it, it's a very big economic impact and the story is pretty meaty we've got even more stats than than that in the piece we also talked to the director of sales and marketing at the JW Marriott Resort no secret now we've been talking about their number one for uh, beer wine and liquor sales I always heard it was top golf and they made the list I believe but but number one is the JW Marriott and Although, these are 2017 numbers that's not really surprising considering they had that huge pool area area, the cabanas, they have the restaurants. Well, as I said, have... big property, and yeah. they, they're well known now for being a staycation destination. So we, we cover all that, but again, it's, and it's a much... And too. Let's think about how many people... Oh, the convention lesson. business yes. and the golf stuff, so... And something that you'll hear at 5 o'clock is the amount of tax revenue this brings in to both the Bear County and San Antonio. So the, uh, the city... Maker. The, the city and the county make money off well, of this. Let's just say that the impact of all of this is most definitely in the billions of dollars. So we're going to cover all that. And again, by the numbers, our new limited edition series right here on KSAT. All right, that is tonight at 5 o'clock. So make sure you come in. And it's kind of interesting to interview you. And thank you very much for being on the show with us again this you did, you did great. How? Eh, you're eh. All right. Okay. I'll work on it. <laughs>